Hi, my name is Olivia Emmett, and I'm the program leader here at Cumberland Falls State Resort Park. With the weather getting warmer, I thought it would be a good time to talk about snakes. How to identify them? What kind of snakes do we have here? What are some fun facts about snakes? And what are some myths? The first thing that I'm going to talk about are venomous snakes. Now keep in mind, everything that I'm going to talk about today is Kentucky specific. So if you go to a different part of the world, they might have different venomous snakes that have different features. The two venomous snakes that we have in this region are the copperhead and the timber rattler. You can see on this poster that the timber rattler is in most of Kentucky, except for the northern central region, and the copperhead is over the entire state. The copperhead is actually one of the most common snakes that you will see in this region. Now, talk a little bit about when somebody says they've seen a poisonous snake, referring to a venomous snake, why is that not quite accurate? Well, think of it in terms of bites. If you bite something and you get sick, it's poisonous. If something bites you and you get sick, it's venomous. Now, down here at the bottom are two drawings of the two different types of snake, venomous and non-venomous. And you'll see that the head shape and the eyeball shape are the two indicating factors for pit vipers. With the non-venomous, that pupil is going to be round also going to have more of a round head. Whereas the venomous snake, the pupil is going to be a line, a vertical line going through the eyeball. And the head shape is going to be more flat. It's also going to be a different shape when you look at it from above. So with a pit viper, a venomous snake here in Kentucky, the head is going to be a diamond shape with the jaw lines protruding out. With a non-venomous snake, it's going to be more of a round head. You can see it really clearly with our taxidermied timber rattler snake. If you look from that above vantage point, you'll see that jaw line protruding out diamond head shape. You'll also see the pupil with that vertical line. Now you have to get kind of close to be able to see those two things. So I don't recommend getting close to a snake just to try to identify if it's venomous versus non-venomous. This is only helpful really when you accidentally Gently get too close to the snake. Now, what are some myths about venomous snakes? I have heard from several people that it's more dangerous to get bitten by a baby venomous snake than it is to get bitten by an adult. Well, it's kind of true, kind of not true, and the reason being is that babies will release more of their venom because they don't have control about how much venom that they release. But their venom isn't potent. It hasn't developed enough as an adult snake has. So even though you get more venom from a baby snake, it's not as potent as an adult snake. So kind of true, kind of not true. What's another myth that we often hear? I've heard that snakes chase after you. That's actually not true at all. If a snake is coming in your direction, it means it was headed in that direction before you were there. So what do you do if you see a snake coming your way? Well, you don't want to turn around and run in that same direction because they're just going to be going in that same direction. What you want to do is take a big step to the side and let the snake pass and it will stop following you. Now, what are some other fun facts about snakes? Well, with these venomous snakes, they actually give birth to live snakes. The eggs are inside of them and the eggs break and the live snakes come out of them. 
Unlike the other snakes um, in this area, they lay eggs and then they hatch outside of the body. Now, let's look at some snakes. This snake is a corn snake. It often gets mistaken for the copperhead because of the similar pattern on the top. However, you can see that its head and its eyeball shape are not like a venomous pit viper. The name corn snake comes not just because they're found in uh, corn fields, but also because of the patterning on the bottom. Corn snakes are actually very beneficial to have because they eat pests that would be in your corn fields or in your barn or around your house and they help keep us healthy for that reason because a lot of the things that they eat carry diseases that affect our health such as mice and other rodents. This snake has actually been with Cumberland Falls for over 10 years. This is another very beneficial non-venomous snake. It is a king snake and not only does it eat other rodents and mice that we don't want around our house, but it also eats other snakes including the corn snake that we just saw. In fact, it will even eat other venomous snakes, even though it's non-venomous, as you can see from the pupil and the shape of the head. Now, this king snake hasn't been with us for very long. However, we hope it will be here just as long, if not longer, than the corn snake. Usually in the wild, snakes don't live much more than a decade. However, in captivity, they can live up to twice that amount of length of time. Now, we don't recommend picking up a snake outside. These have been in captivity and are safe to handle. Even though they're non-venomous, they can still bite you. And it's not recommended to just go out and pick up any snake, even if it's non-venomous. And if you happen to have somebody that will let you hold their snake that they have in captivity, keep in mind that their scales go in one direction. So if when touching the snake, you don't want to go in the wrong direction so that it will break off those scales. You want to go from the head to the tail, and that's the way that they move as well. Well, one last very important thing when handling a snake that is in captivity, it carries salmonella. So as soon as I am done, I am going to wash my hands. A lot of talk about how important washing our hands is right now. This is another case where definitely washing our hands is beneficial to help keeping us all healthy. And that is very important right now. I hope everybody is staying healthy. I hope everybody stays safe and keep an eye out for snakes. Thank you. Have a good day.